everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I'm very happy to have you here for this video. Um, let's just say with a one-year-old and a three-year-old in my house, it should come as no surprise that I was inspired to shoot this video, to have an idea like this because Disney princesses kind of rule our world. My girls, Belle and Eve, they love playing with them, pretending they are them, putting on dresses, reenacting the movies, telling the stories. Hey, mommy turned into a bear. Singing the songs. Mommy. It's just a whole thing, and so I'm surrounded by it, and then lo and behold, I come up with this video idea. I thought, let's see if we can find all of the Disney princess lip colors within my collection, and I was actually able to do it within some of my favorite product ranges, like some of my certain favorite formulas. I was able to come up with all the different Disney princess lip colors. <laughs> kind of ridiculous. If you don't like Disney princesses, please don't abandon me yet, because you might really love some of the lip colors. And it turned out to be much more of a range than I expected. Even though I'm really into makeup, sometimes I just kind of glaze over as I'm watching a movie and I don't really like hone in on the fact that they're all sort of different. There's a little overlap with a couple of the princesses here, but for the most part, like I'm looking at quite a range of lip colors. And I'm mainly basing this off of the princesses' appearances in their actual movies, because if you just did a Google image search of one of these, you would see like a doll that has now a totally different lip color than from when, you know, the princess was in the movie. You'll get all sorts of conflicting looks. For example, Jasmine had one lip color in the movie, and then she had a pink lip color as the Barbie doll. Then she had a nude lip color on this other thing. It all gets messed up, so I'm basing it off the movies. But I'll pop up the pictures that inspired me for each of these certain things. Let's not take this too seriously, okay? I tried my best. I'm gonna go with the lightest colors to the deepest colors. The lightest one is Rapunzel. I'm Rapunzel. That tower was very high, so they had to use hair to go up. And she, I feel like, has this very baby lips kind of look. She's very youthful, kind of a nudie peach type vibe coming from this. And I thought um, a shade with some shine would be appropriate as I was trying to match her lip color. So the one that I came up with that I feel is dead on for Rapunzel is the M Cosmetics True Gloss in the shade called Magic Hour. It's creamy, it's sort of nude, but it's got just enough peach in there to really make me imagine Rapunzel's lip shade. So I love that color. Color. This is an amazing formula as well. I've got a full review and try on on this whole M Cosmetics lip gloss line, but it's probably like the best lip gloss out there. That's saying a lot. There are some great glosses on the market, but there's just the proper amount of thickness. It feels so nourishing to the lips, and there is a nice amount of shine, but there's also just this really nice kind of healthy natural look that comes across the lips too. I absolutely love it, and I think that is dead on Rapunzel there. Now next up we have Princess Aurora. This is Princess Aurora. Princess Aurora's lip color, I love it in the movie, especially when she is technically Briar Rose. You know, she's living in the forest with the fairies, and she's got this soft, kind of light, warm pink shade, and it actually sort of overlaps with Merida's lip color, Merida from Brave. My mommy turned into a bear. She's got the exact same thing going on. There's just a little depth there. It's a little deeper than Rapunzel's lip color. There's a little more of like a peachy slash warm pink pigment to it, and I think I have 100% nailed this color with a formula that I am gaga for, and it's the Revlon Ultra HDs. I was just thinking the other day, I want to pull those out and wear those more. It's a slim lipstick design, and this is the shade called HD Desert, and it's absolutely perfect for that kind of a look. You know, it's a little bit warm. It's got a little bit of a rich pinky peachness to it, but it's just super beautiful and natural looking. For a lipstick, it's very creamy. It has sort of an old school Revlon lip butter vibe to it except perhaps maybe a bit more thickness and richness to the formula. There's a really beautiful shine that appears on your lips when you're wearing these also. One thing to be aware of though, there's a pretty strong scent on these Revlon Ultra HDs. It's kind of like a strong sort of tropical, sweet, fruity scent. So just be aware, but it's a great formula and a beautiful looking product on the lips. Next up we have Mulan. Mulan, Mulan. This is Mulan, Clicky and Mushu. Now Mulan in a lot of the movies, she's trying to disguise herself as a man. There's not a lot of lip color to speak of, but the color that I eventually pick up on from her is sort of like a nudie mauve, whereas the first two that I've talked about have had a little peachiness to them. This goes a hint cooler and just like a little splash of mauve, but overall kind of nude. And I think the perfect shade for that is another formula that I just adore. It's from L'Oreal and it's the Infallible Paints in the shade Spice 
spicy blush. And this, I feel, is Mulan to a T. There's a little pink in this. It's a very natural looking shade, and I think it is exactly what she's got going on there. And if you've wondered about this formula, yes, it does have some shine, but it's like a really full-on, 100% opaque, pigmented, like, lip cream, almost. It's a really fantastic feeling on the lips, and I do think this is a shade that would suit so many people. Here's another one, the last one in this kind of neutrally natural lip family, and it is Belle. Belle. Well, she's holding a basket. She has a bright blue bow in her hair. Now I'm really honing in on Belle's lip color when she is sitting at the fountain in town and the sheep are like coming up to her and she's holding the book and she's got this sort of your lips but better, your lips but maybe a little plummier type color. I found it. It is from L'Oreal. It's this formula that I love so much, the Shine Formula Lipstick and the shade is called Varnished Rosewood. This has been probably my favorite shade in this line. It's so natural. It's so like, I don't know, stemming from the natural natural color that I have in my lips, but richer, a hint of berry in there, just a little bit of plum. It's such a beautiful shade and a really fantastic smoothness and texture going across the lips. Um, it's kind of similar in thickness and feel to the Revlon Ultra HD, only this is going to have a little more shine on the lips. I think so many skin tones would look good in this shade. That was really fun when I realized that that was the color because I just genuinely love that one so much. Now next we're going to talk about Pocahontas. 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 I will paint the solid colors of the wind. But we're also going to talk about Jasmine. I'm Jasmine. This is Aladdin and Jasmine. I feel that at a lot of different points in their movies, they share a very similar lip color. It's warm, it's kind of like an earthy coral, there's a little bit of neutral in there at times, and Jasmine's shade is very warm as well. Sometimes it looks a little bit brighter and more reddish, but I feel like on the whole, I've kind of settled on a lip color that I feel I've seen at some point or other in the movie on both of them. And this is the Besame lipstick from their new House of Besame line, which is a like sheer finish lipstick. It's much lighter a really, really creamy formula. It just has a completely different weight and feel on the lips compared to their usual lipsticks, and it's the shade Chocolate Kiss. And you've seen me try this on recently in my video where I was talking about intriguing new lip products, and this was one of them. And this shade is really hard to peg. Um, I had a hard time settling in on exactly what the proper shade was here, but I do think it's this. And this color does have some kind of burnt orange going on there, a little bit of brown, but at the same same time, a lot of life. There's a lot of brightness in this shade. When you're really in full-on lighting, I feel like the neutral aspect of this shade kind of takes a back seat, and you see that wonderful corally brightness. So that is a color that I've definitely identified on both of the princesses, and if you wanted to take it a little bit more of the jasmine route, maybe layer under this a reddish lip liner, and then pop this color on top. But on the whole, I think both princesses share this shade. The next one we're going to talk about is Cinderella. Cinderella is very kind. I like that she goes to the ball. I work Jack and Gus. Cinderella was the hardest to peg absolute hardest, because I don't think in watching her in the movie I ever really internalized the fact that her lip color is so bright and corally. I'm talking 1950, I believe it was, the original Cinderella movie, and you see her lips when the fairy godmother has given her the beautiful dress and everything, and you look at it, and it's downright like bright coral. And I don't think I ever really thought about that. And even in earlier parts of the movie where she's like living in the attic of the chateau or whatever, like she also has kind of a corally lip, but it looks like it's really on fire and exaggerated when she goes through the transformation with the fairy godmother. And I never thought that it was quite that bright. So as I was choosing the shades, I was looking for softer, lighter shades, things maybe closer to the Besame that I was just talking about here. But this is really 
coral intensified and I finally found it. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of the hot lips lipsticks in the shade called Hot Emily. And I've had this on hand for a while. And once I put it on and I even had to like consult with my mom on this, I'm like, Bob, do you think this is the right shade? We agreed. The creaminess of this, the lightness and brightness of this, I was picking shades that were just a little too earthy, a little too neutral, a little too rich. And this truly feels like that color that she has on when she has suddenly been transformed by the fairy godmother. It looks like this. And I never thought of it as actually being that coral, but it is. This is a very opaque formula here. It's creamy. It's not incredibly shiny on the lips. In fact, just a quick gentle blot and you'll be at a totally matte look with this lip color. But I do think it is 100% Cinderella. Next, I want to talk about Ariel. Hi, I'm Ariel. This is Ariel. She swims, she turns and Human. Ariel's got this, of course, bright red hair, and I feel like most of the time in the movie, her lip color pretty much exactly matches the hair. And to me, I think it's really close to being a true red, but just veering a little bit on the warm side. So I chose this. This color I feel like is 100% it. It's from Lancome, and it's called a Velvet Matte. This came out, or this was actually sent to me in a PR sample, along with a lot of their lip glosses, and it applies in the same manner with the same type of applicator, but instead of having a real shiny finish, this has a less glossy feel, more of a, like they say, velvety finish and feel across the lips, but it doesn't set like a long wearing matte liquid lip color does. So it's totally comfortable, totally wearable. I really like having a red in this format where it's not so sticky, glossy, you feel like you're gonna rake it across your face. A little more reliable than a straight up red lip gloss. Although I was a little torn on the fact that wouldn't Ariel's lips look wet? because she's a mermaid and she's in the water, but whatever. This is her color. The shade is 184 and I just, I feel it is completely on point for her. Now next up we have a different kind of red, a cooler red, a red that I think actually has a little bit of pink in it, or maybe that's just the, the blue tone in the red coming through more, as opposed to a warmer red, but it's Snow White. This is Snow White. She has a red bow, a red cape. Um, Bessame made this easy because they created Snow White's red lipstick. So, you know, it's Snow White's red. That's what they call it. And it's gorgeous. And it's the one I've been wearing throughout the video. I absolutely love this shade. There is some coolness to it. It's just a little bit different from that aerial shade. While at a glance, it just looks like a 100% pure true red. There's a little bit of a pink, just a splash of a berryness in there. And it's stunning. I mean, it's unbeatable. It's a wonderful shade. So thank you, Besame, for making that one easy. If you're not familiar with Besame, they are actually a product line that researches vintage lipstick shades. They recreate them. They totally 100% color match them. And they had a whole collection of Snow White products. They did um, an eyeshadow palette that was based off of the exact colors that were used in the movie. Today, I'm also wearing the Snow White replica blush shades. So love it. All right, now who's ready for Tiana? This is Tiana. She has a crown on. She has a green dress. She likes to cook. She's in the princess and the frog. We are big Tiana fans in this house. I mean, Princess and the Frog, I think, is such an underrated Disney movie. I like the message in it. I like Tiana's character, who she is. I'll never forget when um, I was in at the doctor's office taking the glucose test when I was pregnant with Eve. And Belle was in there, too. And as I was taking the test, they put you in a room, and they also take that opportunity to show you a um, video about epidurals. And as the nurse was coming in and getting it going, um, Belle goes, are we going to watch Tiana? And the nurse completely cracked up. Up over that, but it's a great movie. We love Tiana. And so her color, I think, is kind of a brick plummy red. Little bit of depth to it, little bit of earthiness in that red. I think it's probably a more everyday wearable red than Ariel's or um, Snow White's. It's just not quite as bright. And I love that I found Tiana's shade in one of my all-time favorite formulas, which is the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick, and it's the shade called Rich Raisin. I looked through a lot of more brick red reds as I was trying to pick 
pin down her color. But once I opened my search up to more of a slight berry plummy place, I really was laying my hands on some good options. And I think this is definitely the best. I've called these before the sweatpants of lip colors. They are that comfortable. They are a very balm-like feel. Um, they are similar in texture, I would say, to the Revlon Ultra HDs, to the L'Oreal Shines, only a bit more treatment feeling. Like if you are wearing a Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in harsh conditions, in really cold conditions, like chapped lip issues are happening in your life, you want to have one of these on because it will actually treat your lips and protect them. So thank you so much for watching. This is kind of a different video idea, but I think a fun one nonetheless. I hope you guys are having a great day and whether or not you like Disney princesses, maybe you'll like one of these lip colors. So thank you so much for your time and I will see you soon. Bye.